Hello everyone, this is PikaFan82 with the f Ghost Trick Final De Phantom Detective. Curse me to say it. We, we have to go to the. Yeah. Final chapter. When was the Yomiel's death? Fifteen years ago, when a Timsic meteorite fell. We traveled back through time, and now we're here at the scene of that death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. I did say we're going to be back at this park. It's ready! Hold it! Give it up. You really think you can outrun me? Oops. Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back! If you're coming closer, I'll shoot there! Sorry, I always like saying it like that. Huh? Oh, a kit. Shoot, you might get hurt. And in comes the meteor. Right there, you really have to keep a sharp eye out for when we try to change stuff. Are you okay? You're alright now. Are you hurt? You, you saved me, mister. Wow, so cute. <laughs> Can't help it, so cute. Same hairstyle, too. <laughs> I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. So that's the Timsic meteorite, huh? It's beautiful looking at it from that angle. It changed all of our lives completely. Fates. We can't stop Timzik from falling from the sky. But we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. Hmm? Hmm. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Jode? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If that meteorite fragment doesn't get him, I'm pretty sure I would have shot him. We may not be able to change your fate of dying. I can accept that. Huh? What I did is inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. If my fate is to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. Get ready, everybody. Beyond that, will be a new future. Okay, let's get started. My heart is starting as we Trick time! Now, how are we gonna save you? Flynn would just wander off somewhere. That would solve everything. When her sweet potato is almost ready? Ha! <laughs> She's not gonna budge from that spot. But you know, it, it makes you wonder. Little girl all alone in a park listening to music and roasting a sweet potato. What kind of childhood did this girl have? 
doesn't everybody have at least one day in their life like that? Give her a break! Anyway, plan one bunch for this pot. Then we'll just have... Uh, we'll just have to have their fragment moved in instead. I can't reach her. I have to wait. It's ready! And you know all this, so... Trick time! Time to change fate. Stay there! <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to hurt poor Miss Lynn's ears. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. I know how much this girl's, this little girl loves her food, too. Anyway, at least her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. Alright, uh, Miss... Assist. That trick. Those. Oh, crap. Nine. <laughs> oh, look at that sweet potato. Big scary sweet potato. That's not a sweet potato missile. That's Mino. Oh, oh right, of course. But look at them, potato and Mino. For now they both have the same shape. They're saying you can swap, huh? Good idea, missile. Okay, here I go. I'm going to need your help. I can't help you. My help. I just screwed myself by not being able to go over there. That's all if you can do like this. Yeah, I messed up. After fake change. Dang it. I gotta be quick. This will back up a bit. Fake. Let's do this one more time. Happiness unfold. Oh look, the lamp post is bending. But it hasn't broken yet. It really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. It might just hold out for a little while longer. If I recall, the Timsic fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. That's why I told you to look at that. But if Mino sits firmly in its way, fate should change. Now we do nothing. I can't move. Oh! You just sit back and watch the drama unfold. Oh, 
It's about time for that meteorite to come down. Don't worry, Missile. I think we're ready for it. Look us right in front of the fragment's path. Oh, okay. A giant sweet potato. <laughs> if anything can get in that way, in the way, the ugly monster can. Ouch. Anyway, how the fragments have ought to change. And we watch this go on. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. There. How's that? Look, the fragment scores. It changed a little. Now Yomiel's fate should really change. Wait a minute. Take another look at that fragment's trajectory. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? In his path? N no! Well, I uh, used to be a detective. But then I got a meteorite to the knee. Yeah, it hurts like heck. Detective Jode! Detective Desmond fragment shot right through his leg. It looks like it's his knee. What? A cool twist of fate. Weren't over yet. Come on, put it down. Huh? Joe, put the gun down now. Put the cookie down now. <laughs> if you don't, you're going to shoot him. I don't know if this is the detective trainer or what. Even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the gun down! No! I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. I won't let that happen. Missile! The bullet has stopped in midair. Here inside the bullet. Now let's swap it with something. What? What? Is that the Jode? The being right fragment is what made you pull the trigger. We won't let you become a murderer. Hmm. Let's prove that murder isn't. Oh man, I missed. This is the way to do this, and to do that, we have to stop this bullet. There must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. Yeah. This thing. Could hit him with the sweet potato bread. Whoa! Goodness, okay, that was painful. That was painful. Oh no, we stopped the bullet. We still couldn't save him. That's not true. Huh? The fate of getting pierced through the back may not have changed. I'm still alive. What? I'm not dead. I'm just unconscious. Okay. The fate of death has changed. But still. That fate was just too painful to watch in every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. We were overlooking one thing. The wheel of fate was still slowly turning. Ooh. Look out! Wake up! You gotta get out of there! Dang it! My leg won't work! It's all over! I'm out of time! Miss Lynn! It's not over yet. Is there isn't there anything else to swap with? Why don't we just lay out 
and then try to find another way next time. Even if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse. Then you can redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes. No. I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death will be erased. The memory of it will remain. Like a scar on her psyche. Huh? I won't let that happen. Not if I can help it. But what can we do now? Even, even if we work together... Uh-oh. I think there might be something that can be done. What is it? What can Sissel and I do? Don't forget, I'm here too. Uh, with three kinds of powers among us, we ought to be able to fight this battle. This battle against the fate of death. It yummy all. Sissel, your power is manipulating objects. So use your power to manipulate this. Huh? I don't get it. Just trust me. Let's go. Alright, I'll try to move there. Now, gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. <laughs> Give it your all. And remember, you only have a split second. Got it! I didn't get that other part, sorry. Now it's your turn, missile. What? Uh, me? What can I do? I think you know the answer to that. Okay, got it. You can swap them. The hunk of concrete will go back to its original position. But, even if I swap them, they'll still be right above Miss Lynn. Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it. I'll swap. And... I'll reach back. It's no use. We can't stop that horrible Mino. What can we do now? I don't see how gaining a second or two helped. Oh, it helped, alright. Those few seconds were exactly what I needed. Or exactly what I wanted. Sorry. Last up, it's my turn. Your turn. You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. Wait a minute. You mean... That's right. I'm going to save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own subconscious body. Ouch. I'm surprised he wasn't paralyzed from the legs down. He got. <laughs>